Now, this is an old stone. I've had this stone for over 15 years. You were looking at one of the most intense, saturated, vivid, hot pink sapphires you can find. The reason I kept this particular stone is because the color was off the charts. It comes out of southern Madagascar in an area called Ilakaka. Now, Ilakaka changed the landscape for fancy colored sapphires in the world. It was one of the largest discoveries on record globally. I literally saw it town because I travel to Madagascar, Mozambique, Kenya all the time, right? So I go there like 10 times a year and I literally saw a small little village that had like 150 inhabitants explode into 10,000 people in a matter of a month. And the reason why is because little small scale mining operations were discovered all over that area and basically what it unearthed was predominantly fancy colored sapphires, a bit of pinks, a bit of, you know, green, some yellows, all the different spectrum of the rainbow, the majority being smaller size, but occasionally you would hit a bigger size stone. And because occasionally you would get a jackpot stone, something of this type of vividness or rarity or this type of color, which is predominantly only seen in locales like Sri Lanka and they sell for five digits a carat or they're found in very remote locales, the price, the demand of just mining just keep going and going and going. And this is what supplied the world market with fancy colored sapphires forever. Now, the the mining stopped about, I'd say, five odd years ago. There's no more mining pretty much in this area or insignificant amounts. But you can read up on this particular locale. Wild, wild time. It was like literally the gold rush of California back in the day. And that's how Africa was based. That's how Africa does it, right? They hit big, they mine it all out, and it's gone. What you've got here is a two carat up vivid, I'm telling you, pink, pink, pink with 2.61 carats of deep flawless diamonds. Look at the size of those diamonds. They're big, they're bold, they're explosive. You've got a two odd carat sapphire. What do you think those rounds around it weigh? Big size, the mount alone here setting you back 15K already just for the diamonds and the gold and manufacturing costs. What do you pay for a two carat vivid top gem quality like this is the question. If you're looking for rare, if you're looking for collectible and you're looking for something that we don't see a lot of, this piece is awesome.